Hello everyone, I'm Chris, and welcome to another episode of Winter Moon Games Tabletop Reviews. Today I'm very excited because I'm reviewing, or previewing, whatever you want to call it, my very first Kickstarter game. This game is called Bayman, a cage card game. Bayman was the Nicolas Cage character in the movie The Season of the Witch. I am Bayman of Blybrook. Which is apparently one of his notoriously bad movies. And while I haven't seen Season of the Witch, I've seen several other Nicolas Cage films and enjoyed some of them. So the game is a card game and it's actually a version of Old Maid with Bayman, Nick Cage's worst character, being the Old Maid that you don't want to end up with at the end of the game. That's not what I say. So if you're familiar with Old Maid, it sets up just the same. You pass out all the cards to the players until all the cards are gone. And you're going to start by taking your hand and just discarding any matches that you have. Each card in the game has a match. Each card is based off a character from a Nicolas Cage movie. Like me, who's only seen maybe a handful of his movies, I did end up having to look up some of them and to learn which ones were which. What madness is this? On your turn, you draw a card from the player to your left at random, take it to your hand. If you have a match, you match it with the card in your hand and you discard it. If you don't have a match, you keep going. Play continues in a circle, drawing a card at random from the player to your left until no one has any more matches to discard and then whoever's left with the Bayman card is the loser. You have to get in line behind me. So what I appreciate about this game is that the designer, when he sent it to me, told me that it's old made and it's really not supposed to be anything more than that. He didn't say it's old made but better and then proceed to make old made. He intended to have it be a simple game that was quick to learn, easy to play, and familiar to people, and that the fun would be drawn from in the Cage movies and talking about them. One thing I did note while playing with my friends is that there's not a whole lot of discussion while you're playing. The discussions kind of happen after you're done when you've got the cards all on the table and you're trying to figure out who's who. You're looking up on IMDB to see which Nick Cage movies relate to the cards and how to identify them. So there's a whole variety of Nick Cage movies featured in the game and the illustrator, uh, Alex Portal, actually did a really good job on the art. The art is one of the big draws to this game, no pun intended. You have cards from Con Air and Wind Talkers and Ghost Rider and last but not least my personal favorite, Face Off. Now while the designer made it known to me that this wasn't supposed to be anything more than Old Maid in a simple game, my personal opinion is that in today's tabletop market it did need something else. And the designer did mention that he did want this to be a party game, and so I think a party game needs a little bit more going on, something that's going to generate those laughs. One option would have been maybe just have a quote from the movie at the bottom that you could read, or you have to say a quote from the movie when you play your matches. Or there's another game that my friends and I like to play when we're on long drives in the car. We just call it the movie game. For instance, I say an actor in a movie they're in, like Johnny Depp, Pirates of the Caribbean. Then they have to say another actor in that movie in another movie they are in. So Orlando Bloom. Lord of the Rings. It would have been really interesting to have something like that in Bayman, maybe just as a fun house rule, where face off, I now have to say John Travolta, the Punisher. One thing that I observed was that even if you're playing with the most hardcore Nick Cage movie enthusiasts, once you've talked about all the cards in the game and had your laughs, there's really no reason to go back and play it again. But to be honest, I don't really see that as a negative. I can't really ding points for it being old made. It is old made and it's a familiar game so you'll know how to play doesn't pay to bash games. If this game isn't for you, don't play it. I think Bayman would have been a little bit more enticing to play had it not featured exclusively Nick Cage movies, but maybe other action heroes as well. All that to be said, I think Nick Cage would be pretty flattered that this game was named after him and may even find himself buying all the copies and giving them to his friends. This game is designed and hopefully will be published by Eric Malarkey. The illustrations were done by Alex Portal. The game will come with a box that's not featured here. In closing, I gotta give Bayman a 7 out of 10. The hour of our judgment is upon us. I am Bayman of Flybrook. It's nothing that's gonna blow the minds of strategists and super geeks out there, but it is a game you can pick up, play really quick, have a few laughs, and use it as an opening icebreaker game. I wanna thank you all for watching another episode of Winter Moon Games Tabletop Reviews. Again, my name is Chris. This game is Bayman, a cage card game on Kickstarter now. They launched on September 14th which is iconic because it is the release of Nick Cage's newest movie, Mandy, which apparently is getting a lot of good reviews and also being talked about as one of Nick Cage's craziest movies yet. So if you haven't already, check that out. 
check out the Kickstarter, send Eric a message, I'm sure he'd love to hear from you. Until next time, check us out on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can also watch more reviews on wintermoongames.com slash reviews, or email me at cb at wintermoongames.com. Tell me what you'd like me to review. I want to review your game. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. How many different Nicolas Cage movies did you spot in the video? Discuss in the comments and share with your friends to get in on the conversation.